They all get them, headaches. They're the most common form of pain. But if they're making you miss out on work or school, it might be time to see a doctor. We continue our series on your brain health with our partners at Intermountain Medical Center. Here's Good For Utah, Sarah Chen. You know the feeling, sharp, throbbing pain or a dull ache. Not all headaches need a doctor's attention, but when it starts to affect your daily activities or quality of life, it's time to talk to an expert. It'd be 4 a.m., pounding headache, I would take my medicine. But her severe migraines persisted, adding on the anxiety of missing another day of work. And if I woke up in the morning and still had it, I would start to panic. Allie Hawk from Salt Lake City started out with migraines a few times a year. It was interfering with my life, activities, things I wanted to do. Then it turned into debilitating chronic migraines several times a week. She stopped traveling, activities, and going out with friends. It's to the point where it was miserable. It's pretty common thing to the human experience. Everyone can get a headache, but Dr. Alyssa Ledich, a headache specialist at Intermountain Medical Center Neurosciences Institute, says migraines tend to target young and healthy women in their reproductive years. 16% of people in the world have migraine, and if you start to look at women, you'll find that 30% of women between the time they start to have their period and when they go through menopause have migraine, and half of women have had a migraine. A lot of that is driven by estrogen, but it's a very common thing. Migraines can be moderate to severe headaches, include pain on one or both sides of the brain, throbbing pain that lasts for 4 to 72 hours, and nausea or vomiting, even sensitivity to light and sound. There is no cure for headaches, but there are options to treat and prevent them, such as psychotherapy, medication, and non-prescription options. Things like cognitive behavioral therapy, biofeedback, things like that have excellent evidence for migraine prevention. As far as non-prescription options, magnesium and riboflavin, there are procedure-based treatments like nerve block and Botox. I want you to follow my finger. Look here. Show me your teeth. Good. The team of experts at Intermountain Medical Center Neurosciences Institute includes neurologists, nutritionists, and physical therapists, all working to make patients better. Allie now takes a combination of meds and Botox, which has changed her life. I don't think you can put that into words because before it was like I'd kind of given up on what my life used to be and didn't know if I'd ever quite get that back. I'm much happier now. Mm -hmm. If you're suffering from headaches twice a week or even twice a month that are keeping you from activities or family life, doctors at Intermountain Medical Center say they may have a treatment plan for you. In the newsroom, Sarah Chin, good for Utah.